Hello everyone, my name is Devin Coombs, and today I am going to go over problem 4 of CSUN's Gateway Lab Exams practice set for financial accounting. So the problem reads, the purchase of an office building by issuing long-term notes payable should be reported as a A. Cash outflow in the financing section of the statement of cash flows B. Cash outflow in the investing section of the statement of cash flows C. Cash outflow in the operating section of the statement of cash flows D non-cash investing and financing activity, or E, none of the options listed. So, this problem is specifically dealing with the different sections of the statement of cash flows. So that's what I'm going to go over during this video. I won't be going over the broad concept of the statement of cash flows or any calculations, but I will be going over their specific sections. So let's delve into it. So there are three primary sections to the statement of cash flows. Operating activities, investing activities, and financing activities. There is also an additional section for supplemental information such as non-cash transactions for significant items. So with that in mind, we're going to have to plug in the information from the question into these four different sections. So operating activities just converts operating activities for the company from the income statement to the cash basis. So normally we're reporting according to GAAP on an accrual basis and the statement of cash flows is going to change that accrual basis to a cash basis. And so operating activities are going to be those in the normal course of business for a company or business. So those would be like sales, uh, accounts payable, accounts receivable in the short term. So we're going to look at the question and see if that can be plugged into operating activities. Investing activities have to deal with the purchase of long term assets or investments such as a building or land or something that to that regard uh, and financing activities has to deal with financing investments and operating activities so financing activities could be a borrowing from loans or bonds or even increasing equity by selling stock uh, we could be issuing dividends for financing activities as well these are the three primary sections and then we also have our additional section so let's look at the problem and figure out where the problem fits into the sections Problem four has to deal with the purchase of an office building by issuing long-term notes payable. So the purchase of an office building seems like it would be an investing activity, while issuing a long-term notes payable seems like it would be a financing activity. But the interesting thing about this question is that there is no cash exchanged in this process. So as we will see here, it actually is a non-cash investing and financing activity. So the trick for these types of questions is if you don't see any cash exchanged, it's not going to go into any cash outflow because there wasn't a cash outflow. It's a non-cash transaction. So that's the important trick for this question. I hope the video helped you understand this question. And if you have any questions, feel free to post them below. I look forward to seeing you next time and uh, have a nice day.